I want to join the people of Japan for celebrating the designation of the area known as the Hanuko Oora system, part of the Okinawa Reef area, as a hope spot, joining more than 100 places around the world for the Hinoko Oora area. The reasons for designating this as a hope spot include the fact that there are thousands of species of richly biodiverse area, including more than 200 endangered species that include the famous blue coral that makes its home there. It's one of the few places in the world where blue coral actually thrives. It's also one of the places where the dugong has found a suitable place to call home. This area is not only special because of the richness of the life that is there, the special nature of, the, of this whole system, the importance of it to the integrity and the health of the ocean around Japan. But it's also important as a hope spot because if people care and can use their voices to ask questions about the need for, uh, for the new construction that is on the horizon as compared to the importance of protection of a place that cannot be recovered <laughs> once it's gone. Of course, humans have changed the environment on the land and in the sea to foster our prosperity, to, to foster the needs that we have. But part of our needs include protection for the ocean that gives us so much that we need, the air we breathe, the water, the clean, fresh water that comes from the ocean into the sky, the diversity of life that provides the basis for our existence. We have a chance that will never come again to protect that which can never be restored once it's diminished or lost. So I congratulate the champions of Japan who are bringing the attention to the world of the importance of this area, if it can be maintained and protected, will be such a gift to the, not only the people of Japan, but to the people of the world, a place that really shines as a hope spot amid the more than 100 places that are creating a network of hope for the world. Thank you.